back to our vlog. Today we will be talking about training tools and techniques. So, again, we have Tank here. He's right beside me. I don't know if you can see him or not, but he's here. Um, so first up, we will talk about the prong collar. And then we will talk about the shock collar or the e-collar. Um, here we have a prong collar. It's a pretty basic one. Um, it's stainless steel. Uh, and I had to take out a couple links because it was too big for him, but we got it now to a size. So what it does is you can see these prongs and they pull together and it pinches him. So if you notice, I'm willing to put it on myself because it, it, it's not pleasant, but it's not animal abuse. In fact, I'd be willing to take out a few more links and wear it all day because it's not that bad. Um... The correct way to use this is kind of complicated, and I'm not even sure if I know it, but what I think from all my research is that you pull real quick, one quick like little, and it pulls it tight and then releases by itself. Um, so that's the prong collar. Next up, we have the e-collar, shot collar. There's a whole bunch of different names for it. Um, this one has a little clip. So you can clip it and unclip it. Same idea as the prong collar. You don't want to slip it over their heads because that could be scary. Um, and then this one has sound. It vibrates. It's supposed to vibra vibrate and it shocks. Come here. Way. So that's the shock collar. It's pretty simple. Um, I like to give him the sound first and then a vibrate and that's pretty much that um he he really doesn't like the e-collar that much um because he has thick skin and he's stubborn we've had to turn it up kind of high so unfortunately it does shock pretty hard so we don't use that one as often as we use our prong collar um if you notice i attached a leash here to it um and there's two ways to do this i forgot to mention this earlier but if you clip it on the one big ring, you can it like pinches. But if you clip it on both, like so, then that creates just pressure instead of it pinching, which is really cool. I prefer it pinching because he listens better that way. But. It's pretty much up to you and your dog and how your dog responds. So you can see he has his prong collar on. Um, he has a lot of fur, so maybe it's hard to see. But if you notice, I'm going to ask him to lay down, and he'll do it. Um, with, with just this, ready, watch. Lay down. He doesn't want to, but lay down. And he lays down instantly. 